Wow, one YouTube. So today, um, I want to talk to you guys about how women are going to view you as gay on this journey. Um, personally, I have some um, feminine characteristics to me when it comes to my physical attributes, such as my voice. A lot of people have told me in the past that I do have a feminine voice over the phone, you know. And I believe some of you can notice it um, when I speak, you know. So yes, um, I don't know if it's personally for me, but just the fact that you are not chasing, the fact that you are not just acting like every other man out there, is going to make them think that you are gay, you know. Um, just the fact that you are not seeking for their validation look the thing is um if you go into the presence of women you know like you guys just met for the first time or you walked into a room full of women and you just go there and sit down you know you're just comfortable in your own skin like you're not trying to run any game you're not trying to tell them any pickup lines you're not trying to get at them but they're going to be all confused because they'll be looking at you like this is not normal this is definitely not normal because every other guy I have come across in my life every other guy that I've met so far especially if she's pretty have been giving me free non-sexual attention you know so why are you not doing that are you gay? <laughs> Have you watched this meme where it says, Why are you gay? <laughs> I mean, I have nothing against gay people, you know. I even have gay friends that I chill with. But the fact is that they are going to perceive you this way because you are not acting like every other guy out there, man. You don't carry yourself like every other guy. Look, this is what you have to understand about women. Women have more than 100 guys who are trying to get into their panties more than 100 guys who lack self-control who lack self-discipline who are trying to get at them and there goes you not even looking at them and not even trying not even you know a lot of things they're going to want to figure it out because this this is not the usual this is not the norm and usually when people come across things that are not the norm they tend to like question it or they tend to fear it man either ways you're going to be looked at as weird man you're going to be looked at as weird on this journey because you're not acting like the normal um how do i say man you're not doing the normal bro you're not doing the, the normal is you're supposed to walk into that room and scope out for the most beautiful woman in the room and then you start trying to like get her you start trying to like do some pickup lines man you know but you're not doing that why are you not doing that that's the question they're asking themselves man because you have to understand this women have a lot of they have a plethora of dudes who are after them you know it's like bro you don't even understand what i'm telling you man it is uncommon for a woman to see a man who is not even trying to like impressed man he's not trying to do anything for him to be liked you know he's not trying to raise her interest he's not trying to get her in bed man who are you like why are you like this in the first place man like who bro it buffles them man you don't understand what i'm telling you when i say you'll be turning their head around man You've been making them go gaga because it's not normal. It is not normal. You are not normal. If you watch the video I posted about what your father did not teach you, you know, um, there was just this girl. Bro, I hate this place, man. There's no sun. There was there was this girl on the cover of the um, of the of the video. She asked me because I've not. We've been in the same class, in the same German class for like two months plus now and that was the first day we met each other you know that was the first day i actually spoke to like we spoke to each other you know and as we were in that in the library reading she 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 asked me 
if I was gay. And I was like, what would even prompt you to think about that, you know? Well, the fact is that I'm quiet. I've never spoken to like anybody in that class as, except I'm spoken to. And whenever I'm spoken to, I keep it short, you know? I keep it short and simple. So nobody really knows anything about me in that class, you know? So that was our first conversation. And she was like, do you have a girlfriend? I was like, nah, I don't have a girlfriend. And she was like, um, why? Uh, me, I was going to give her a reason of like, yo, I'm just focusing on myself, you know, I'm trying to um, get better, I'm trying to get into the gym, I'm trying to eat better, I'm trying to, you know, and I, I'm working two jobs, so I don't really have time for a woman right now. That was what I was going to say before I even opened my mouth to say that, man, she has already asked me, are you gay? <laughs> Do you like men? I was like, bro, what? <laughs> Does this energy look to you? Like somebody um, who does not like soft things, you know, bro. Look, women are soft, man, you know. Look, their body is soft, man. They are, they are made like that because they are going to bear kids in the future, you know. So, yes, um, why would I leave all that and then go look for a man, a fellow man like me, man? Again, I am not against gay people, you know. I have nothing against gay people. I have gay friends that I chill with, you know. But the point I'm trying to make is the fact that because you are not acting normally because you are not doing what every other guy out there is doing you are going to be looked at as the weird one you know you are going to be looked at as the exception you know to every rule there's an exception you are the exception to this rule man because women are so used to men you know chasing after them trying to get the approval trying to raise their interest trying to run game trying to bro you're not even doing none of that man you are not doing none of you are just there and she's looking at you like bro how am i this beautiful bro you'll be having them questioning themselves man you'll be having them questioning if they are really beautiful because they have all these other guys in their phone who are telling them you are beautiful i'm going to buy you this i'm going to buy you that i'm going to do this for you i'm going to do that for you and she's like yeah whatever and there goes you bro bro you don't even know what you do to these women man <laughs> you 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 just can't phantom it man because look you are not you're not like the normal how do i say it, man um you're not the normal species you're not the normal bro it is so real for them that they look at you like are you okay <laughs> do you like women do you hate women are you misogynistic all those names they are going to put it on you simply for the fact that you are not trying to impress them you are not trying to please them you are not trying to get into their panties man you have to understand that is what they are really used to man that is what they are really used to. That is what they are really used to. They are used to men simping heavily. Bro, these women have men with Bugattis in their phone and these women still do not respect this, this man, you know? Simply for the fact that they are chasing and I've told you before, the moment you start chasing a woman, she's going to view herself as better than you. She's going to view herself as she's doing you a favor. She's doing you a favor by being with you. Bro. Oh, I like this house. I like it. So yes, um, they are going to think you are gay, man. You know, they are going to think you don't like women. They are going to think you are into men. Um, because simply because you're not just acting like every other guy out there, man. You're not trying to... Nah, bro, you're just different. You're just... But then, on the other hand, they also feel that masculine energy. So understand, they understand the fact that the way this person carries himself, his body language, the way he speaks, his eye contact, is not that of somebody who is... Um, how do I say it, man? Who is releasing all the time. So even if they think you are gay... Um, it's like a bro you'll be messing up with your mind man because it's contradicting how are you not chasing me and at the same time you are very masculine 
Like what? She doesn't understand him, man, because usually if you meet a gay person, I think um, from one or two, three interactions, you will tell that this person is... Um, you might have an assumption that this person is gay and then later when you ask or maybe when you find out you find out that this person is gay actually you know so but then you you are quite masculine your tonality your tonality your body language the way you carry yourself the way you walk your shoulders are back your hips are not swaying you know you walk with this shoulder that's like but you are not chasing me why <laughs> You are not giving bro women are beautiful creatures that's what you have to understand man and for beauty it has to come with a price and that has to be that mostly my beauty is going to be validated by outside sources you know so when somebody's not validating me then i feel like something something is wrong with me and women women usually don't know how to process their emotions so usually they project you know when a woman tells you you are cheating she's probably doing it already so when she's looking at you as um gay it's just simply for the fact that you are not giving me that feedback that um result that how do i say man that i am beautiful so therefore i feel like something is wrong with me so i'm going to project it onto you thinking that something is wrong with you <laughs> bro it is crazy man she asked me that question i was so bewildered that man i was like huh <laughs> I was like, what? In what world, man? And since I'm very introverted and quiet, just a, a few people, you know, there are girls that have done shit with in that class that nobody knows about, you know. And they, they know that, okay, this boy is not gay, you know, even other people are, even when other people are thinking that he's gay, you know, they know that this boy is not gay, it's just the fact that he's just him, you know, he's just carefree and doesn't give a shit, man, you know so yes just get ready man for people to label you as gay because you're not chasing women they barely see you with any woman you know they barely see you talking to women and all that and mostly if you're relating with just men you know because you're in retention you're trying to avoid um now you're totally avoiding conversation with women but for the fact that you're limiting your conversation with women you know giving your energy to women and mostly people see you with men they're going to just assume that you are into men you know so yes get ready man for women to look at you like he's gay you know they are going to assume that you are gay so but don't let that face you man yeah it's just their assumptions it's simply because you're not giving them that validation that they seek dearly with their life you know it's like it's like how do i say man that's their fuel without it man they are just look if every man stops giving women validation today you're going to see that women are going to change their attitude you know this attitude of being bossy and thinking that the whole world revolves around them it's totally going to change you know it's just for the fact that they are sims who have no self-control no self-discipline man that's the reason why these women think that they, they they deserve it man look women think that you are out here your purpose of existence is to give them attention is to worship them is to validate them bro so when somebody who is doing the total opposite of that comes around man they are going to be looking at you like are you normal are you okay are you is there something wrong with you upstairs man does it function down there or are you into men all those things are going to be running through their head man you know bro fuck man <laughs> But that question set me off, man. I was like, "Hey, eh? <laughs> it's like what? Why would you ask me that? Why? What? What? Eh?" <laughs> but yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Expect such things in, in on this journey, man. Yeah, people are going to assume that you are gay or you are into men or something like that, man. But yeah, it shouldn't be phasing you, man. Um, yeah. If you are new to this channel, man, please subscribe. Um, I do love you guys and stay tuned for more content. Ciao.